Good day, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dissolution Plays Danganronpa Trivi- uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. Trivi Haggy Hapuk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great start! So, as you may remember, <laughs> we finished Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations in the last video, and now we yeah. have moved on to something that, uh, that, you know, kind of still fits our niche. If yeah. You're new so if you're new to us, we, uh, we voice act the characters in these games. Mm -hmm. We play through these visual novel games, and we do the voices, because why not? Hell yeah. And, you know, it was a fun thing that we did together as friends, and we are like, heck, why not stick it on YouTube? And so here we are! Again! Again, with a new game. With a new game that maybe will take us less than a year to do, but... Ha! 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 You're so funny. Well, you know, who knows? It may not, it may not, but whatever. And so, uh, anyway, I guess with that, let's just jump straight in. Yeah. So, I'm Pete. I'm Sarah. And I'm Taylor. And... We're uh, this is Danganronpa Trigger Hippie Havoc, <laughs> and we're uh, Trigger Hippie Havoc, <laughs> and we're and we're Trigger Happy and ready to cause some havoc. Oh yeah! Am I right? Yeah. Now then. <laughs> now, do we want to be mean? Do we really want to hurt ourselves? <laughs> so right. So I feel like so just to give some sort of explainer on how this works. Generally, so there's the three of us who do this, but I actually am the one who plays the games. But because the three of us are doing this together. The action we tends to take a little bit of a back seat because I am the best gamer in the world, and if you can't tell, there is some sarcasm there. <laughs> the However, gamer ghoul. <laughs> I feel like you know, considering uh, how we've just come off the back of the extreme, mind-bending cases of uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, we can probably handle a little bit of. Uh, oh, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't hurt my brain. <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. And then action difficulty. I think it'll be okay. And then action difficulty, nice and gentle, because. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it gentle because yeah, we are voice acting this as well, so we, we can only do so many things at once. <laughs> we, need, we need time. One, yeah. of, one of us is across an ocean. Yes. We've got to let this. We've got to, we've got to let the. Well, the technically, we're both across an ocean. Well. Oh well, yes. <laughs> all three of us are across an ocean. Disrespect to one another. While it may sound like we're all in the same studio, we are actually an ocean apart. Yes. And so we do have to compensate for a minor delay. Yes. <laughs> and so, we begin. This is <laughs> evil bear. <laughs> oh. Well, there we go. Haggard, trippy traffic. <clears throat> the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy. Ooh. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Yeah. Mm, makes sense. Oh. There are two things you need to attend this school. It's got the strange eye shape. The shape that was in the bear's eye. Oh, yes, yeah, so it the has. Logo. Oh. oh, yeah. I never noticed that. And a pen, <laughs> yes. Mm. And a Wii remote in the crown. We remote. <laughs> <laughs> One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. Is me. <laughs> average 17 year old. Oh no. This actually is an average 17 year old high schooler. Not, not JoJo Bill. <laughs> was me. Oh, sorry. I was expecting your average everyday high schooler. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Nayagi. Happy boy. As you can see, <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be so modest, Makoto. Really? <laughs> As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. Oh, relatable. Oh. 
I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. <laughs> like I'm some kind of Robot. generic character that you're meant to project yourself onto. <laughs> I love how he's, he's really trying to drive it home just how average he is. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. <laughs> Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. I'm a filthy casual. <laughs> <laughs> even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. Yes, very, very well, average. This, we get this it. guy's got some very real self-esteem issues. <laughs> Wow. See, the thing is, though, he's at least he he embraces his mediocrity. True. So he true. he's at least got that going for him. There yeah, is that. yeah, true. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. That's one of my rules. <laughs> you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. I think, I think, I think we've established that, Makoto, honestly. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I've got this overwhelming presence. Oh, it's got this overwhelming presence. Like it's trying to swallow me whole. I think if we turned this into a drinking game, I think we'd be able to be pissed by now. <laughs> by the amount of times he said, I'm ordinary, I'm average, I'm ordinary, I'm but, average. <laughs> but it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is I'm ordinary. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. All the cocaine. <laughs> oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the... The message boards that we are known for. That here looks in... so good. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. Yes, this thread online that has absolutely no URL, background, or anything resembling a forum structure. <laughs> <laughs> so to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler, I do, which I am. It doesn't. Because I'm ordinary. <laughs> There's nothing particularly remarkable about me. It does amuse me that this world has this sort of classification of ultimate people. Mm. Like, because I, I don't know anyone who sort of goes around and goes, "Wow, do you remember this person from this class? When whatever, wherever it was, this this school we went to, they were the ultimate." something yeah that's it's just not it's usually like prodigy is the word you'd use maybe i guess but you just don't you sort of go like oh yeah they were they were good at that thing weren't they yeah, they were right <laughs> yeah, good. Very you, good you don't go <laughs> they were the ultimate football player or something like that well i mean i was called the ultimate gamer when i was in high school yeah, i'm sure you were Taylor. i'm sure you were by myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Self-titled ultimate. my mom said i was the ultimate gamer oh. <laughs> For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Oh, aggressive boy. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Then, there's the ultimate fashionista. Nice font. Mm. <laughs> that's so with that really bad alias thing I on feel as though her too. eyes are like kind of boring into my soul. Yeah, and I do not yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Whoa. <laughs> nice I mean, that Oh! <laughs> oh! And they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. I mean, because that's a that's a that's a field with stiff competition. You know, there's just yep. a ton of biker gangs. <laughs> I mean, or in Japan, I might add. I guess I'm not gonna say what his hair looks like. It looks like a corn, corn on the corn it kinda, on the cob. Well, I was gonna say like maybe like a leg of ham just plopped down on his head, there. <laughs> like a steamed ham. Steamed ham. 
<laughs> the scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Again, so many of those. <laughs> yeah. Gangs everywhere love the guy. You know, I went to Japan once, and that was that was it. It was everywhere. Just biker gangs, <laughs> just left and right, left, left <laughs> all over. The place. Led by that one guy. <laughs> led by the one guy. They call him Corn Cabio. Corn Cabio. <laughs> On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. I don't know how he got in there. It doesn't really <laughs> seem like a skill that people care about. Uh, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swing pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoy. What? Are people just making this stuff up? And then some... And then some. Reading... Oh, and then some. Reading that... <laughs> Reading that made me realize how totally powerless, ordinary, and otherwise mundane I was. <laughs> it was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who had wandered into a pride of lions. Yeah, I mean, uh, understandable. Yeah. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. I spent like five minutes Googling, two mm -hmm. minutes on Facebook, about five on Twitter again, I just couldn't find nothing. <laughs> with all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they <laughs> just be average students? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of person <laughs> personality, <laughs> but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue, how ordinary I am. <laughs> oh, sake. oh my god! How did such an unbelievably average? Can we get like a counter? Like, <laughs> yeah. Just a counter of the number of times we that he a, says average. A sin, a sin counter of the. <laughs> Let's yeah. get an average of the number of times he says average. <laughs> How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You gotta have the ultimate average person, right? You just have person, to take right? one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. <laughs> we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how the grad or er, after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. That's just the sheer averageness, just constantly <laughs> <creeping> sheer averageness, <laughs> <laughs> just creeping at the back of your brain. Like but still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Nope. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting hall, or a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this! I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. A better life. A new life. A better life. <laughs> this is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over... There is? Wow. <laughs> is it, in, uh, in it's, the behind, corner, it's behind it's, the pillar, guys. That's it, it's in the corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, all, out of, all that's out of frame. <laughs> out of frame. There's this yep. really elegant clock that has not been drawn. It's just, but believe, believe me, it's really cool. There's a really <laughs> elegant clock it's, over in the it's corner. It's way more interesting it, than even I am. <laughs> it says it's 7 to 10 a.m. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, high school, where you have to get up at 7 in the morning because all teenagers function their best at 7 in the morning. <laughs> the meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up. 
I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing a wound, a wound, a wound <laughs> waiting <laughs> isn't exactly. Just standing a wound. <laughs> you know what? But it's interesting. You know, obviously we just came off of Phoenix, right? But he does the same thing. Where his, even his mental thoughts are in the same color text. Yeah, like yeah. Like that weird off blue. <laughs> yep. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. Maybe that's just kind of like a staple of Japanese visual novel games. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it is interesting you say that. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I also like that they don't have italics in this, so you have to use asterisks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Oh. Oh, uh, oh yes. Ah, uh -oh. oh, yes. The school that leads to the abyss. Of course. What the? But the instant that I took that first step forward... It, I realized it was a mirage. <laughs> my view became warped. Twisted. It was like some kind of delusion. Melting away and mixing together into something else. And then I woke up. And I realized that I hadn't been picked to go to the best school ever. And, and then I realized I had wet my bed. <laughs> and that was really embarrassing. <laughs> and, then, and I just looked in the mirror and was like, <sighs> average. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if his name in Japanese means like average somehow. Yeah, 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 probably. <laughs> Spinning, mixing, melting away, and spinning again. In the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. The beginning of the end. Oh, there we and go. how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was because I was average. Mm -hmm. It was so I could experience ultimate despair dun, dun. Oh. oh welcome to despair oh <laughs> it's like a circus score uh oh okay let's save and oh dot 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 <laughs> dot 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 uh -huh. wake up sleepyhead Wh what what where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but yeah, or because you woke up at seven in the morning because kids shouldn't be up that early. <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Well, I mean, it's like you just started in a new school and you fell asleep in class. Mm. Well, I mean, so you wouldn't recognize the class, right? <laughs> right? That's it. Oh, oh, it's oh, a pop-up some... school. Oh. That's some psychedelic walls oh, going on. and I guess it's made out of cardboard? <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, I to explain the controls. You're supposed to just your aim, aim at an object you're trying to with. Okie koki. Okie Okay. Seems straightforward enough. Ooh, and... Okay, so what do we got? This this stands out. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a light of drool I must have left there. Ah, delightful. Nice. <laughs> I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Mm. An orientation guide? <clears throat> it's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know what you mean. It's guys, guys, I, I don't think, I, guys, I don't think it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. What were you saying? I was just gonna say, no, this pamphlet is completely professional. This isn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Obviously. <laughs> is 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 that a surveillance camera? It's a 
dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. <laughs> nice. Okay, what? Ah, yes. The Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It is. It just looks like there's no hands on that clock to me. <laughs> but, okay. Invisible It was hands. just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, and then... Oh, yes. I guess I should have oh. spent less time staying up and looking at those internet forums. <laughs> <laughs> this delightful windows. Hey, that window looks smashing. Well, there'll be no smashing of those windows. <laughs> oh, what the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. Yes, clearly, a metal plate. None. Not a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and if I were to knock on it... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Oh, wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Oh, okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean... This is a... <laughs> <laughs> My average well done, brain Makoto. deducted that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. Mm. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I, I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. Boom. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave by pressing the B button. Okay. Well, let's press the B button. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Purple, purple. holes. Jeez. This hallway is kind of weird, too. This is getting stranger by the second. I, I honestly have no idea what's going on. And that's not just my average high schooler brain talking. <laughs> well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Uh, ah, uh, yes. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button while moving to run, <laughs> but don't run in the hallways, because you'd be a very naughty boy indeed. <laughs> I just like to pick up a map. Why close the map? How convenient. Oh, 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 geez, okay. Oh, we have tank controls. Yes, we do. Woo! We do. There's no. I love tank controls. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, hang on. So we can strafe with the shoulders and then the right. St okay, okay, okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> right. Hang on a sec. So wait. The main hall. Uh. Wait. So. Oh, what do we think is the main hall? Is it the one with the buildings on it? Uh, I mean, we can try. All right. So. But that's not the main. Nope. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Oh yeah, B to run. So hang on. So it was here. It could be. It's open doors. Up. Oh, point. There we go. Um, by the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Oh, people. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, hey, a new kid. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Then you guys are all... Uh, yeah. Okay. Who's going to be saying these? Uh, so... Question marks, apparently. <laughs> apparently, yeah. yes. Question marks. Yeah, we're all new here. Today is supposed to be our first day of class. <laughs> I have no idea who's saying that. So counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point. But I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who had gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. See, the one on the right there is 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 exactly the kind of JoJo, I'm just your average high <laughs> school student kind of yeah, build. Absolutely. 100%. The one who is absolutely most definitely <laughs> uh, yeah. not average. Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> that's a unit. <laughs> 
Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each one of them. Oh. Boing, 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 boing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> boing. <laughs> uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa, you too? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. So strange. I declare beyond <laughs> a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Makoto! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware that the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp? To be late on your first day is unspeakable! I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment! My goodness. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't even have any control over it. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? What the hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. Language. <laughs> friggin'. Maybe. But it may be good at least to find out who we are all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Oh, how no. big are her hair curlers to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, so we get into this. <laughs> okay, so let let's get introductions out of the way, and then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is good as it. <laughs> so I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still really don't know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Boy, I'll start by talking to those five over there. Okie dokie. Right. So let's uh, we'll go left to right, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm Kyoto Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Kyoto Ishimaru. Ultimate wow. moral compass. <laughs> ah. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's Public Morals Committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name! A strong name! You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name! And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying. I mean, just look at his eyebrows, man. And his hedgehog hairdo. Like, he, he does look pretty annoying. Maniacal, even. Yeah, he doesn't fill me with much hope. <laughs> no, he, he reminds in, me, it's like a rule, uh, like a gender-bent Satsuki Kiryuman, honestly. Yeah, Kiryuman. to be fair, yeah. Yeah. With the, with the commanding presence, presence and everything. But I like, it doesn't remind you, it doesn't fill you with much hope in Hope Speak Academy, Sarah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not really. So, we've got Toko. Oh. Toko. <laughs> Not that you remember my name anyway, but I'm T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Oh, shy. Or crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. 
Love story. Yeah, she looks like the kind of person that would really. You know, maybe the love stories that you see in like the airports with like Fabio on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio. Sergio. Oh, oh, see, I was joking, but look, the book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every. Oh God. Jesus. Jesus. You know, as you do. You know, there's a lot of a lot of talk about uh, about handling of fishing rods. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you, have to, you have to remember though that like one of the most sort of highly successful books in our recent um. era was just like written by some flipping fanfic. Yeah. Well, it was originally she like that. reached into his tackle box, <laughs> a firm hole of the base of his fishing rod. Well. <laughs> then slow. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> Not that you keep a fishing rod in the tackle box, let, but, you know. Let's not. Let's just not. Let's just <laughs> let's just pretend that that didn't happen. It it was then that he knew he was hooked on her. <laughs> no. Just no. No, I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> While it might be true that there are many fish in the sea, there's only one of her. <laughs> I'm dead. This is now. This is now. Disillusion makes up uh, ocean-based romance novel. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What? Oh. It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Super nice. uncomfortable. <laughs> F uh, filthy creature? No, no, I I just thought I I know what you just thought. You just thought you never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. Nice. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I, I know you can't stand looking at me. Well, uh, 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 uh okay. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just like... Talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> moving swiftly. On. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant s Stop smelling her, Makoto. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird creepy. that you're doing that. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> he obviously is like... He's like and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. I've uh. never smelt... I've never smelt a woman before. <laughs> he's like, he's actually just sniffing a strand of her hair. Oh, Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, <laughs> frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. And in fact, she's their lead singer. Now, look at the face of the was, one yeah, all the uh, way yeah, to the yeah, right. I was literally about to say, that one on the <laughs> yeah. right looks real derpy. She's, she's a little bit zoned, stoned like, out of her brain. Like, uh, <laughs> That'll be the person who was like, "Yeah, she's just a side character here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, just not gonna draw her properly." <laughs> As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> okay. Well, um... <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Oh, shit! Was that Ooh. out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was talking out loud. <laughs> ah, so just like with Phoenix, people can read Makoto's thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No one is safe. Huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. What? Huh? <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Huh? Hey, by any chance? Now what? Yeah, it must be. 
I'm sure of it! Say, Makoto, did... Whoa. Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Yikes. Sorry, <laughs> I just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions of her introducing herself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat! You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Oh, he scared her off. Jeez. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Are 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 they are they are they never gonna see each other again? <laughs> it's like it's like, it does seem a little bit like foreshadowing. Yeah. Like she said, we can talk later. Okay. Whoa. Yo! The name's Leon Kawada! What's up? That's a face. Ultimate baseball. I wish stuff. I had a goatee like that in high school. Damn. Like, yeah. <laughs> he, looks, he looks he looks different to how he did in the uh yeah, in the original he was, image. He was a bit of a skinhead in the other one, wasn't he? He was. I recognize that name. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> he played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. <laughs> You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I, I was just expecting more of a, you know sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. Turns out that this image isn't actually, like, a real picture of him. It's just what Makoto thought he would look like. <laughs> well, it's yeah. the off-season now, probably. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. Mm. Mm. What? Oh, man! You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture! Oh, this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving her head like that is part of national championship regulations. And by, yeah, and by head, it means the top hand button. But now, I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. Jeez. Mm. Mm. He's never practiced and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. I've only just noticed, what is with the giant safety pin I through the collar know. of his jacket? <laughs> it's massive! It's like... Well, it's just, that's just uh, Japanese fashion, you know? Edgy! <laughs> Edgy. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream? For the future? I'm so decided. I really do not like the voice I've wound up doing for him, but we're going to turn it off with it. Yeah. Oh, you. Is that a dream for the future? I'm so average, I don't have any dreams ever. <laughs> <laughs> My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? I'm going to be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max! I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay. Okay, let's talk to this absolute <laughs> oh, unit here. Goodness. The pinnacle of this manhood is, uh, right the, here. Yeah. This, is, this is the Chad right the here. <laughs> this, he's the ultimate Chad. That's <laughs> his title. <laughs> uh, this is what peak manliness looks like, guys. God, his legs are so small! Yeah. <laughs> I... I'm Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and Omega, I don't mind. Oh, <laughs> I do like the idea that he sounds like that, but he's not going to sound like no. that. No. He can't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the hamster face! No! Ultimate fanfic creator! No. Here we go! By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Oh, there oh, he goes, he's a go. weeb! <laughs> world of 2D? We're in it, aren't we? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's just like. Uh. 
I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? And he has the whole trophy. Everyone uh, wants to read about 2B and 2A. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of too boo. I just like, yeah, I like that he's got the tropey glowy glasses as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. What you don't know is that they only bought it out of like the sheer morbid fascination. <laughs> Just like seeing him is like, yeah, this will be good for life. Yeah. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly, utter, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. <laughs> I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nyegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. <laughs> what, what kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basest oh, urges. Oh no. boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, is that why his hair is pointed? <laughs> oh. oh. He writes sexy Ew. stories. Ew, no. he's that kind of fanfic creator. <laughs> well, I mean, is there really any other kind of fanfic? I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, Just as long as Have you ever heard of Draco Malfoy, X <laughs> Harry Potter, X Ron Weasley? <laughs> as, he, as long as he doesn't That write, one's my favorite. Uh, as long as he doesn't write anything to do with Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends, then. Oh, no. Well, of course! That's my best selling one! Okay, yep, next. You've got to have the fairies in there. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know your audience, people. <laughs> I, I don't th I don't think I want to comprehend it. Yep, you and me both, pal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, now exit stage left to talk to those five people over there. Okay, Koki. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> so who's there? Hey, ya! Uh, I'm. Oh God, how, how was Owie. it? Owie. That was it. I'm Owie Hasahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Oh, ultimate it's the swimming um, pro. I mean, ultimate uh, fan is, service. I was gonna I say, think. yeah, it's the fan <laughs> service character, of course. Howie Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. Now, you know, the thing is, with the way her hair is spiked up, you know, obviously swimmers normally wear a swimming cap, so does it like poke out through? <laughs> yeah, she's got a little period. hole at the top. <laughs> the, the combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Oh, oh, yes, very widely discussed. <laughs> Quiet, you! <laughs> so, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Sorry, totally forgot. Uh, Makoto Nayegi. Oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Uh, no, not uh, not something like that. It it is that. <laughs> sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll have her in my brain right now. And then she takes out a hammer and beats <laughs> herself to death. <laughs> Makoto Naiki. Makoto Naiki. <laughs> she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. Oh, what are you doing? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. Eh. All right, Pete. So if you don't know any of these characters' names, start writing on your hand right now. <laughs> uh, uh, we got a pen. We got a pen. <laughs> I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Yes, Naigi. Yes, that. Yes, yep, how? Yep, yeah. Nai, nai, <laughs> nai, Yep, 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 right uh, up there with. Hmm. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Anyway, glad to meet you. S sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is that she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Yes, bursting with raw energy. No, <laughs> it fooled uh. me down, boy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then and then the spike on his hair just like flops over. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so now I've got to try and do the like. Okay. Let's Chihiro. Uh, hello. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <clears throat> Is that oh. okay? It sounds a bit. <laughs> That was cute. <laughs> yes. Ultimate yep, programmer. Yeah, ultimate programmer. Oh, she doesn't have the she doesn't have the eyepiece though. <laughs> also, her name's not an, a palindrome. <laughs> this is this is this is fake. This is fake. <laughs> <laughs> fake programmer girl. Uh, sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Only in my dreams. I mean, <clears throat> um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Oh, kind yeah. of unnecessarily dickish, Makoto, but fine. But, yeah. Boy, sorry. See, you don't have to apologize for that. Oh, yeah. Shihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny-type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fool me! I, I, I may have to workshop this voice a little bit. I apologize. Because <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not convinced by it. <clears throat> hey, so listen. I am really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, are we sure this character isn't just Sarah? <laughs> just cause... excuse me. <laughs> Sarah's like, I'm in this picture and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Except that she's not a programmer. No. But <laughs> well, just although I have to say I'm not like this, and I am a programmer, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Well, ju just because. You seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Oh, this is like this is like my social anxiety. It's awful. N no, <laughs> not at all. I, I was just lost and thought about something. Seems huh? me and Taylor are both at this what? picture and we don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Lost in thought? Thought? Yeah, it, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, I'm starting to understand why your fans are so into her. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I ask your name? Hmm. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Oh. Ultimate mystery. Mm -hmm. Ultimate dot dot dot. Mm. <laughs> She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? No, I, I just been getting invited here it means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? Hmm. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. <laughs> Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Mm. Her face <laughs> is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hi! I'm Juko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate fashionista. Freckly scowly face. That is a very, very wide and unsettling grin. <laughs> I totally Anybody gotta rip your face off. This one. <laughs> <laughs> She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. 
I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Probably because huh? you weren't grinning like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course! Those are totally photoshopped! Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. This is why 2D women are better. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. <laughs> it's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're, if you're surprised by that, you'd totally be blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> My name is... <laughs> My name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Oh, <laughs> just straight oh, naughty up. language. Nice well, to meet I, you. I guess spoiler alert, guys. There's naughty words. There's naughty words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not family friendly anymore. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means <laughs> he's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang leader in the country. He's the ultimate but I feel like this is just him rehashing what he already said at the start. Yeah. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. He's trying to drill it in, though, isn't it, I guess? Because there's a lot of characters, so he's trying to really sort of drill it in so we remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, um. Nice to meet you, too. Hell yeah. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> like the protagonist of one of uh, Toko's novels. <laughs> yep. Those four over there are the only ones left. Okay. Let's quickly get these out. The uh, Jojo character. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. She's... Uh, I'm Sakura Ogami. <laughs> Ultimate Come on, Sarah, artist. you've got to you've got to sound like you're a, a bodybuilder. Like oh. I am totally a bodybuilder. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't be me. Oh, jeez! I almost asked her if she was a guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh oh. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. <laughs> but now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. Wow, Makoto. <laughs> That's sexist. Sexist? She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The famed missing link. Wow, people wow, are harsh. That's mean. <laughs> Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, the, 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 the. if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you. Huh? Y yes. <laughs> I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Wow, forward. <laughs> Um, uh, what are <laughs> you? Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary <laughs> high school student. Well, there you have it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Even she reckons he's ordinary. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my trading partner. I'm not sure that's such a... Sh the thing is, she's too intimidated to ask Kafumi. Um, because... <laughs> You know, oh he is he, the god. He's the ultimate punching bag. I mean, he kind of is. <laughs> I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. I mean, to be honest, he'd love it anyway. Yeah. I can totally see him being that sort of character. Step Name's... on me. <laughs> Step on me. <laughs> Name's Byaki Otogami. Affluent. Affluent progeny. 
Prodigy. No, it's Progeny, wasn't it? Oh, is it, it Progeny pro- it or said Prodigy? Prodigy. It said pro- uh, pro- 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 Prodigy. Pro- pro- Prodigy. 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 Wait. Progeny. <laughs> progeny or Prodigy? Progeny. Well, we're going to see it again progeny. in like two seconds. Yep. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I could do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Miyakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. Oh, wow. Your ordinary appearance makes me ill. <laughs> I feel sick. Physically <laughs> ill. <laughs> His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. <laughs> okay, so the question is, do I do Surfer Dude or do I do Troy Baker? <laughs> Troy Baker. <laughs> Troy, you think so? Like, I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. I mean, it's like a bad Troy Baker. Yeah. Let me get that out there. Like, hey, take it easy. Yeah? I know I will. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Known as Supernova in the psychic community, okay. the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. On it, do you think he gets issues of occult? <laughs> <laughs> and he has to, he has to do the special cult. You have to say it again. like this: he, Does he get issues of occult? <laughs> he has to sit, Honestly, sit on I... a block of trade spirit eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, Sorry. I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Oh, okay, I give up. Huh? Well, what happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. Uh. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemur and its civilization. Uh, what? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And, well, it's a long story. <laughs> you would have thought if he was clairvoyant, you would have seen that one coming. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> a few times. Yeah, I, I I bet that is a long story. <laughs> and so what? I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Like, just imagine the size of her hair curlers that she must sleep <laughs> in. They're just, like, probably, like, three feet long. They're like fire poles that she's, like, generated to heat up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Celestia Luden... Huh? No, Makoto, it's it's just spelled like it sounds. That one is actually <laughs> spelled like it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my name. Real name. It's my real name. But as I mentioned, I would rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. I like that, so the thing is, it keeps flashing back to the computer. But it is the same text. It does not yeah. change. Nope. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped up in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, 
taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Ah... Uh, something. Okay. Time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Well, you see... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? B but that's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. That's why my pupils look like the uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates! What's that about? Uh, plus all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then, there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch! But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here! What the heck?! What's it doing there?! Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Yeah, come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Huh. Well, uh, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. <laughs> no, that, that, <laughs> that face. face. <laughs> I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> oh. So? Oh. oh. It is, oh, it is the bear. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everybody hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Ah, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience! That's all! I'll be waiting! <laughs> That's a creepy ass voice. <laughs> uh. What the hell was that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! What? What are you. You're just gonna take off like that? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for his next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? What? Wait for me! I, I wanna go with you! Is that it then? I will see you all there. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. 
that uneasy feeling I'd had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I... I guess she's right. <laughs> but still, I'm, I'm kind of... No, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yep, oh, there we go. There it is. And so, yes. With that... With that... I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Oh, we don't get to go to the gym yet? No, well, I mean, <laughs> we've learned who everybody is. Well, and that's now, true. And now that we know who everybody is, and hopefully we won't forget by the next time we record, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to uh, go to the gym and find out what's going on with this little bear fellow. Yeah. little happy, cheery, delightful... Scary-ass bear. <laughs> delightful friend. And so, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, why don't you give us a thumbs up? Leave a comment down below, and uh, you could always subscribe to our channel. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notified when we put new content up, so you'll be able to watch along as we play. Mm. And, uh, oh, and of course you can do a little happy dance. Yeah! And I always sound dejected when I say it, which I shouldn't, because it's mean. But you can do a little <laughs> happy dance. <laughs> and with that, that's it, guys. So we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see you later. We're, we're sorry. Take care, everyone. <laughs>